Let's get going. Step number one. Install Java JDK 8. If you search Google Java JDK 8, click on the first link. That's the downloads. Make sure it's Java Development Kit, not Runtime Environment. This is very important. Otherwise, you might run into issues with Anypoint Studio. So make sure it's the JDK Development Kit 8. Accept license agreement, pick your operating system, download, install, follow simple step-by-step -step wizard to install JDK. It's very simple. Now that JDK is installed, let's validate the installation. Open the terminal and run a simple command, java-version. If you see the output that tells you the version of the JDK that you just installed, everything is correct. At this point, we are ready to proceed to the next step, which is Maven installation. Same thing, use Google to search for Maven download. Use the Apache site link. Now, as you see, there is version 3.5 available. I haven't tested any point studio with 3.5, but I know if you click here into archives, version 3.3.9 is a proven version that definitely works. Click on binaries, download zip, extract it, and you're ready to proceed with the next step. This is how your Maven version 3.3.9 will look once you extract it. Extract it somewhere where you have all your applications set. In Mac, it's easy. Everything is in Applications folder. Now, what is Maven? You need to learn how to develop and how to use uh, Mule environment right from the very beginning. And the right way to develop uh, MuleSoft applications is by using Maven builds. So all the projects you will be creating should be Maven based. This will help you going forward with your source repository, repository. in the future it's going to be much easier uh, to work with. Now once you have Maven set up, you will need to change your bash profile or in case of Windows users you will need to add environment variables. If you open uh, your bash profile you can set up M2 home environmental variable that points to the home directory of your Apache Maven. That's where you extracted that Maven zip. And at the same time, use export, or in case of Windows, use path variable to point path to M2 home bin. This way we'll be able to access it from the command line. Now let's validate the installation. To validate, we type the command mvn-v and what we get is Maven Home, which Java version is used and so on. So this is correct. Now, this is also going to be very important. If you are, and most likely you are using enterprise version of any point of MuleSoft, you will submit a request to MuleSoft portal to give you credentials to Enterprise Maven repository, Mules Enterprise Maven repositories. And you will get username and password with a link to instructions to how to set up your Maven to use those credentials. Now those credentials will help you get access to Enterprise connectors and Enterprise features of MuleSoft. Now what you will do is you will edit the settings XML file and you will add your network credentials to it. So you will open settings XML. Let me use the default. And to show you what you will actually see upon installation, you have server section. The server section will need to be added here with your username and password provided by MuleSoft. So this will allow you building your applications and utilizing enterprise components, connectors, transformers, all the enterprise utilities of MuleSoft. Now we're ready to proceed with the final step, 
Studio installation, MuleSoft Studio, or which is also called AnyPoint Studio installation. Same thing, AnyPoint Studio. Download AnyPoint Studio. You click there, you provide your information. Even though it says 30-day free trial, your studio doesn't expire. You can use the tool to develop MuleSoft applications. So once you download and install the studio, it will look something like this when it will come up. So this is the first time you use the studio, it will come up this way. It's based on Eclipse, so if you ever done Java development, you should be familiar with this environment. So we can close that screen, initial welcome screen, and that's what we see here. Since we will be uh, dealing with Maven builds quite often. The first step with the studio is to install new software. So if you go into help, install new software, make sure here you select all available sites and type Maven. You will he see here Maven extension plugin for Mule. So we will select it, click next, finish and that will install the plugin so this way we'll be able to build the projects using this maven extension which will make things a little bit easier and after installation you will need to restart just press yes the studio is restarted and now you all set go into studio preferences select java install jerry's and make sure that your JDK 8 is set as the default one. As you see, we're pointing to JDK contents, the 18066. This is the latest one I have installed. So make sure it's in the list. Make sure it's selected as the default one. If it's not there, you do add standard VM next. And you point to the home installation of your JDK and it will get added. And now you all set to create new projects. You can do file new mule project. You provide the project name, sample project. You select your runtime environment. I have several runtime environments installed and I'll show you how to install additional runtimes. Now, as you see here, use Maven is not enabled. So we need to configure Maven. Just click on this link. Maven installation home directory. We click browse, we go to applications and we point to our Maven. Press OK, test Maven configuration. Everything seems to check out fine. And we now can use use Maven option. So here we have a sample project. You can click next, finish, and complete the project. So now we have Maven set up, the studio running as it should. At this point, you can play around with the studio, create sample new projects or import existing projects or sample projects using the import command here, file, import, and you can specify what kind of project you want to import. And as you see here, this will be used quite often going forward, Maven-based Mule project from POMXML. Now, how do we install additional runtime environments? And why do we install them? Same exact way as we did previously for the Maven extension, we go into install new software. From the list, we select studio runtimes. As you see, Mule runtimes for any point studio. Now we select which one, which runtime we need, either community free runtimes or enterprise. Most likely it's gonna be enterprise. And as you see, you can select from version 3.3.2 all the way up to version 3.8.4. So we can pick 3.8.4 and set it up. At this point, we're ready to start building the projects. And I will do that in the next version of the tutorial.